I didn't realise I had to sing 25 minutes, not 20, so I'll tell you the yarn, okay? Is that alright? Yeah. Right. So good old Peter here, I'm going to pick on him. The other day, I was talking about dogs before, and we like dogs. We've got a, a Staffy, a Kelpie, and a, and a Mini Foxy. They're all pound dogs, they're all really good. But the Staffy has this terrible trouble of snoring, right? Snoring so loud it keeps me awake at night. And uh, Pete and I live down in Murchison, in central Victoria there. And, uh, and uh, it, he, he does a lot of shift work and so do I and we need our sleep. So anyway, I went to the vet and I said, look mate, what do you got for this remedy for snoring? You know, for this dog, it just, just keeps me awake all night. And he said, well, he said, what you do, Beck, is you, you get a bit of string and you cut it so, so length and you tie it on, you know, down there. <laughs> And I said, all right, I'll do that. He said, real tight though. I said, all right, I'll do that. So anyway, I got home. Pete was down the pub drinking, having a night off. We don't live that far from the pub down at Merch there. And uh, I, uh, I go to bed and the dog's at the end of the bed there, sleeping away, and start snoring. So I go into the cupboard. There was no string, but there was some red ribbon I found. So I thought, that'll do. I'll cut a piece, tie it on. No worries, real tight, you know where and uh, stop snoring. I thought, good on that bit for being so right. So anyway, Pete rocks up about 2 a.m. in the morning, crashes on the bed and he starts snoring. <laughs> so I said, right, waking me up, I'll fix you. So I went into the cupboard, I found some more ribbon, but there was no red ribbon left, there was only some blue stuff, you see? So I cut that off, come back, tied it on, you know where. Real tight. Anyway, he stopped storing. I thought, well, that's, that's mighty good, that is. Had a good night's sleep. They were still sleeping in the morning when I got up and I went and did all the housework because that's what I normally do, don't I, Pete? And, uh, and uh, anyway, a couple of hours later, I hear bash, crane, crikey, snore, carrying on, and I walk in there. And here's Pete Starker looking down at himself. Here's the dog still sprawled out in my bed. And he's scratching his head. And he said, well, mate, he said, I don't know what happened last night. I was too drunk to remember, but you and me must have come first and second place. <laughs> right, well, we're going to do a new song for you off the new album again, Proud of My Country. Now, have you noticed in the springtime, there's all these yellow fields everywhere? Yep, the canola. It's all the, the going craze crop at the moment. So I thought I'd write a song about that, and there's a little bit that you need to help me out on. In the chorus, it just yells yellow, ten times over, right? Just yella, 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 yella. Can you do that? Yeah. Real fast, right around it? Yeah, of course you can. Yeah. I'll lead you in, all right? Yeah. Here we go, you ready? Yeah. 